Good day, friends and foes. Tonight's video is not about money. It's about something much more important. And that is our life as we know it and your children's and your children, ch children's children's. So we showed a little bit on quantum computing and what quantum computing actually is and what they are calling AI. They are calling AI basically spirits from other dimensions. And so they're using the term AI to mask that. Um, so when you hear AI from Google, from NASA, from D-Wave or from any elitist group know that they're talking about something different than you are. So what I'm about to show you are the creators of this D-Wave, which D-Wave teamed up with Google, with NASA. Um, they are the forefront of quantum computing. This is happening right now. It's been happening. And what's happening is they are tapping into other dimensions and there are entities and you're going to hear them say it themselves that there are entities coming through and well let's just play it you guys can do all the research check out who these guys are their names jordy rose you got to look them up so here we go this word quantum computing uh it's often people have the misconception that it's some kind of newfangled supercomputer it's decidedly not that um quantum computers allow us to access hidden features of nature, new dimensions, and if we can access these sort of hidden dimensions... And if we can access these sort of hidden dimensions... That may be a little bit, may look a little strange to you who don't follow theoretical physics, but there is a very clear prediction that our most successful theory of nature makes, and that is that there are an enormous number, mind-bogglingly large number, of parallel realities, as real as this one. And this is bizarre, because we don't see those other things. But science has reached the point now where we can build machines that exploit those other worlds. And exploit these other worlds, they say, like, we are not going to get exploited. <laughs> exploit the other worlds, they say. That's the, that's... And these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons, they're not evil. The same way that you don't care about an ant is the same way they're not going to care about you. And these things that we're summoning in, and these things that we're summoning into the world now are not demons, they're not evil, but they're more like the Lovecraftian great old ones. There are entities that are not necessarily going to be aligned with what we want so there you did you guys just hear that let me play it back again this is real this is real this is real this is a this gentleman's a powerful person he knows all the see all the um ceos and directors of every google to you name them they buy this man's quantum computers and this is happening. Demons, they're not evil. Same way that you don't care about an ant is the same way they're not going to care about you. And these things that we're summoning, in, and these things that we're summoning. And this isn't on the news. They're keeping you stupid. They, all the scientists, physicists, now know for a fact that there is other dimensions. But they won't call it in the... Um, the Bibles, we've already known this. Or any other religion that you are. I follow Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is my Lord and Savior. And I sin. And I am not perfect. Forgive me, Jesus. Um, but whew, this is happening. It is real. You, there is, you, you, you can go so much deeper on this subject. There are entities... Uh, let me show you something else here. You want to see something else? You want to see, um, okay. Let's look at the, um, 
CERN opening ceremony. This, and this wasn't actually CERN, it was, um, okay, it was. All right, so this was the opening ceremony, oh, dang it, for uh, the conductor th proton thing that shoots things around like Switzerland or Germany or something. Here we go. Gothard, the Gothard Base Tunnel, right? Andrea Merkel, all these world leaders were invited to this thing. And, and you have to watch the ceremony for yourself. Watch this ceremony for yourself. There is goats and demons and all this. Even the announcers are like, what is going on here? What, what, what is going on here? All these, um, God, they're putting it right in our faces. You can't deny it. There are people that are all more powerful than us that are tapping into other dimensions. And they are not, they'll tell us they're doing it to solve problems, to solve these, just these math problems. Apparently we have such problems where we need to tap into other dimensions and open ourselves to be screwed. So I'll tell you what Revelation says. Revelation says this is exactly what's going to happen. We're tearing in interdimensional, uh, different dimensions. All that's being taken away. And we are going to bring, open the gate for something so evil and so bad. And it's all going to, it's like, it's, this is happening. Like, it's happening. These chips that they use are built exactly like the pyramids this is the d-wave computer chip it's super 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 tiny and they freeze it to below space temperature so it stores uh it's it stores memory whatever it does it's taps into other dimensions and they mapped it out how all the pyramids were god the creator who i as a christian consider to be the only god that there is now in the sense of communing with god so one of these is a computer chip one of them are like the pyramids and stuff so now we're starting to say like the egyptians and all these guys i mean they they were on to something they 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 had this knowledge that we have now and uh i don't know when i look at this when you know when, when i when I, I i just can't help but to share it with you guys because there's more than money and this is always about expanding your knowledge knowledge is power and pray write your sins i follow jesus in everything i do to the best of my ability and i sin all the time and this shit is real so i'm probably going to get super mon demonetized the world now are not demons, they're not evil. Same way that you don't care about an ant is the same way they're not gonna care about you. Sorry to be such a downer, guys.